Who could be Bitcoin's creator Satoshi Nakamoto? Well, today we'll be discussing all of the prominent possibilities of who Satoshi could be. And also linked down below will be all of the articles going into further detail on each of the following candidates. So if you want to learn more, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description below. So let's get started. With the first possible Satoshi on our list being Zuko Wilcox O'Hearn. American computer scientist and cryptographer Zuko Wilcox O'Hearn was born Bryce Wilcox after getting married, he and his wife double-barreled their last names, and he began going as Zuko in college. Let's talk about the evidence for Zuko Wilcox O'Hearn being Satoshi. Well, number one, he has the technical skills. Number two, he's a cypherpunk. And number three, there was a suspicious t-shirt that he wore. And the next is Wei Dai. Wei Dai is a computer scientist whose expertise in cryptography makes him one of the leading candidates, the Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, let's talk about the evidence for him being Satoshi Nakamoto. Number one, he has the technical ability. And number two, he proposed a similar idea on digital money back in 98. Number three, he was a cypherpunk. And number four, he's a master at hiding his personal life. And the next one is Sergey Nazarov. Sergey Nazarov is an investor and entrepreneur who is best known for founding Chainlink, the decentralized Oracle network. Thanks to his early interest in smart contracts, Nazarov features on almost every list of people who could be Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, let's talk about the evidence pointing towards him being Satoshi Nakamoto. Well, number one, he owns the smart contract domain. Number two, his initials match up with Satoshi's. And number three, he was involved in Bitcoin early on. Next up, we have Paul Leroux. The former programmer and criminal cartel boss, Paul Leroux, became a Satoshi suspect in the spring of 2019. For the evidence of him being Satoshi, well, number one, we have the timing. Leroux was arrested less than a year after Satoshi disappeared in 2011. And also his arrest and subsequent incarceration would explain why Satoshi hasn't contacted anyone since then. Number two, Two, interest in gambling software. Number three, his technical skills. Number four, E4M emerged in a similar way to Bitcoin. And number five, he planned to start a Bitcoin business. And next up, we have Nick Sabo. Nick Sabo is a computer scientist, cryptographer, and cypherpunk known for his pioneering work on digital contracts and also currencies. Now, let's talk about the evidence for him. Well, number one, worked on important predecessors to Bitcoin. Number two, professional experience and also technical ability. Number three, his belief and also interests align with Satoshi. Number four, code one up message. Number five, writing analysis. Number six, the 1NS initials message. Number seven, Satoshi didn't cite Sabo's work. Eight, slip of the tongue. And number nine, Sabo's conspicuous silence after Bitcoin's launch. Next up, we have Michael Clear. Michael Clear is an Irish computer science graduate from Trinity College in Dublin. Now, for the evidence for him being Satoshi, well, number one, his technical skills and also academic background. Number two, his time zone. And number three, Clear was involved in banking during the 2008 banking crisis. Next, we have Marty Malmi. Marty Malmi is a Finnish computer scientist and software developer who helped Satoshi develop Bitcoin during its first two years of operation. Now, the evidence for him being Satoshi, well, number one, he has the technical ability, and also number two, the timeline fits. And then we have Gavin Anderson. Gavin Anderson is an American software developer best known for managing Bitcoin's network after Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared. Now, let's talk about the evidence for him. Well, number one, his career and qualifications, and also technical ability. And number two, his beliefs align exactly with Satoshi's. Next, we have David Chaum. American cryptographer David Chaum has significantly impacted the fields of digital security and also privacy. So the evidence for him being Satoshi, number one, he has the right technical skills and also academic background. Number two, he was a cypherpunk. Number three, he invented e cash, which is the forerunner to Bitcoin. And number four, he almost invented Bitcoin. Now, next up, we have Adam Back. Adam Back is a respected and experienced cryptographer who was an early innovator in the blockchain space. So when it comes to his evidence, well, number one, his knowledge and also credentials. Number two, he was a cypherpunk. And number three, he invented the hash cash function. Number four, he was there when Bitcoin started. Next, we have David Kleeman. David Kleeman was a cybersecurity expert and also forensic analyst who worked in the field of computer forensics and also digital investigations. Now, when it comes to his evidence, well, number one, the emails from Craig Wright. Number two, the timeline matches. Number three, 
His sleep schedule also matches with Satoshi's. And number four, Craig Wright's behavior. Next, we have Hall Finney. Hall Finney was a American computer scientist and also software developer. Now, when it comes to his evidence, well, number one, the timeline fits. Number two, he has the technical chops. Number three, he understood the importance of privacy. And number four, Finney's living proximity to Dorian Nakamoto. And well, that brings us to Dorian Nakamoto. Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto is a Japanese American American man who was outed as the brains behind Bitcoin by Newsweek in March of 2014. He lives and works in Temple City, California, just a few blocks from where Hall Finney also lived. Now, when it comes to his evidence, well, number one, his name, number two, his writing style, number three, his old school coding style, number four, his career and qualifications, number five, the timeline matches, and number six, he seemingly admitted it. And lastly, we have Craig Wright. Craig Wright is an Australian computer scientist, and let's talk about his evidence towards it being Satoshi. Well, number one, the email exchange between Wright and also Kleeman, and number two, the blog post. Number three, core Bitcoin developer Gavin Anderson was also convinced that Craig Wright was Satoshi. Number five, Craig affiliation with the gambling industry and also Bitcoin's code. And lastly, number five, he claims to control 1.1 million Bitcoin in tulip trading, likely belonging to Satoshi. So who do you think Satoshi Nakamoto really is? Let us know in the comments down below and also make sure to check out all of our articles going over each of the prominent candidates in the description down below. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.